All right, first off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rekha Kodash, Dwari Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, for allowing me to do another video through your spirit, Dwari Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, for giving us this truth as worms, double honors to our apostles and others at Great Millstone, and salutation and blessings to the hopeful luck. I'm going to do this quick video on uh, something i thinking about, the brother, we was talking about it when I was out there at Dallas, and also the brother uh, from L.A., oh, what's the brother's name, Mike Ala. He mentioned this about Aaron, the, about when Aaron's sons died, about how he still had to maintain his character before the con congregation or the Lord was even going to smoke him. This is going to be a, uh, a quick video on maintaining your character and uprightness in the face of adversity. Because that's what makes us true men. That's what makes men, men still being able to maintain and hold your character when shit isn't uh when shit is basically hit the fan or gone bad. So we're gonna start with the example in Leviticus and then we get another example with Ezekiel and then get a few scripture and see where the spirit takes us. This is Leviticus ten and verse one. And and the the dad and at Abu, the sons of Aaron took took either of them either of them his his censers and put therein and put incense thereon. Actually, I'm gonna pull it up in the blue letter. Back at uh, back at verse one, it says, "Took either of them his censers and put fire therein and put incense thereon and offer strange fire before the Lord." which he commanded them not. So they did something off in the eyes of the heavenly father, how by Shemiah Shai, and they were punished for it immediately. Verse two, and there went out fire from the Lord and devoured them, and they and they died before the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. So they were put to death. They were put to death immediately for doing that which was wicked in the sight of the Lord. And these were the... These were the sons of the high priest Aaron. They they were put to these are his direct sons. <laughs> uh, then Moses said to Aaron, This is this is it that the Lord has spake, saying, I will be sanctified in them that come nigh me, and before all the people I will be glorified. And Aaron held his peace. So look, Aaron had to just shut up. <laughs> Aaron couldn't say nothing. He couldn't say eat. Uh, well, let's read it in the NIV. It says, Moses then said to Aaron, this is what the Lord has spoken when he said, among those who approach me, I will, I will be proved holy in the sight of all the people. I will be, will be honored. And someone you honor or respect, you're going to do what they tell you to do. And they didn't do what the heavenly father Yahweh told them to do. And so what the Lord do, he put them to death. He said, look, I'm going to get my, I'm going to have honor and respect among y'all. So he smote them immediately. Aaron remained still or he, or he held his peace. He couldn't say anything. If Aaron was told to look, look, dog, it is what it is. The Lord killed them because they did something that was off. And Aaron had to hold his peace. We're going to keep going. And Moses called um, Meshel. And Eliphaz, the sons of, of Uzziah, Uz, Uziel, the uncle of Aaron, and said unto, unto them, Come near, carry your brethren, your brethren from before the sanctuary out of the camp. Basically, go bury them. Go, get, go, go take care of that. So they went near and carried them in in their coats out of the, out of the, out of the camp, as Moses said. And it's an important part. Well, all this is important, but this is the main point. This is the point. And Moses said unto Aaron and unto Eleazar and, and unto Athamar, his sons, uncover not your heads, neither rend your clothes, lest ye die. Lest wrath come upon all the people, but let your brethren, the whole house of Israel, be well, be well the burning which the Lord hath kindled. So he said, look, y'all can't, uh, I'll read it in an in a, 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 in
sons, Eleazar and I, I, I Tamar, do not let your hair become unkept and do not tear your clothes or you will die. And the Lord will be angry with the whole community, but but your but your relatives, all the all the Israelites, may mourn for those for those that the Lord has destroyed by fire. So look, he told them, look, you can't take you you still take care of yourself, keep yourself up. You basically gotta you gotta look, you gotta still hold fast. You gotta hold it together. You you you, you don't don't stop taking care of yourself. Don't don't be heartbroken. Look, you suck it up and deal with it. Uh, verse seven, and ye shall go out before the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, lest ye die. So this is you got to put this in perspective. This man and and the other brother, his the brothers of the two that died, they were told, look. Y'all, y'all got to go out before the congregation. Y'all got to go out in the congregation. You got to hold yourself strong. You got to, you got to be tough, and you got to deal with what just happened. At least she die for the anointing of of oil of the Lord is upon you. And and they did according to the words of Moses. So these men, they fucking just watch. They just watch their brother, and and. His his sons get put to death. Got put to death, and he couldn't. He I mean, he would, I mean, it's the Lord at the end of the day. But you got to think and put yourself in their in their position. They didn't they didn't freak out and lose character and say, "No, Moses, f that, man. My sons just died, man. That ain't right." No, <laughs> they they held their character. They held. They held their character and did what Moses commanded through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. He did. He, he he owned it up. He took it in a the elder uh, Mike, the brother Mike Alla in L.A. He said he said you got to think man, that was in the back of his head like my son just died. But hey, he he had to still save face and be strong before the nation of Israel, man. And 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 if he didn't. What would have happened? He would have died, man. He would have, the Lord would have smote him, man. This is uh, verse 8. And the Lord spake unto Aaron, saying, do, do not drink wine, nor strong drink, nor thy sons with thee, when ye go into the tabernacle of the congregation, lest ye die. It shall be a, shall be a state for even every, for for. Every throughout your generations. So look, he said, look, don't you drink wine. Don't, don't look. You got to go in. You got to be strong. And you got to, you got to deal with what just, what just happened before the face of the heavenly father. How about Shimei Al Shai? At least you die, man. At least you die. And that's, that takes a strong man to do. You get, you in a hard situation. Like, fuck. This shit. <laughs> I need something to ease, but really, even in these hard situations, you don't really want to drink too much, man. It, it, it'll, it'll throw you off your game. It, th- it throws you off. Verse ten, and ye shall, and it, and that ye may be put difference between holy and unholy, and between unclean and clean. And ye may teach the children of Israel all all the. Oh, sta- statues which the Lord has spoken un- unto them by the hand of Moses. So look, he had to. He basically had to. The Lord told him through Moses, "You got to basically hold that one, because your sons were doing something that was off, and I destroyed them for it. They were. I did. I destroyed them for it. What you gonna do? They were doing something that was wicked in the sight of the Lord, and he and and they didn't get emotional." Aaron didn't lose it, lose his mind. Man, this mess. No, Aaron held his integrity as a man and just went through it, man, and took and took it. That couldn't have been an easy thing to do, but but he did it through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai. That had to have been that man. Your, your damn son just died, man. You think that's something easy to go through? But what he he held his integrity 
before the face of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And if he didn't, if he didn't, the Lord was going to kill him. So that, that, that he has some great honor and integrity, and that's what we strive for, man. Because we're gonna see people of our of our own kin, our own family, hey, get destroyed, man. And that's just the honest truth. All our family ain't gonna make it, man. Though he's uh this is Job 13 and verse 15. Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. But I will maintain my own ways before him. It's just that's what we have to do. We have to maintain and and when things get difficult, your mind likes to run off, man. It likes to try to run, and it, the first, your first thought when shit gets hard is to get out of it, <laughs> run away from it, es escape. <laughs> like is is like the like the saying goes, it's fight or flight. It's it's fight or fl it's, it's flight or fight. In the majority, when shit immediately first happens, your your first flight. How do I get out of this? This shit suck. End this and let it go. <laughs> but the hey, but hey, like the scripture, I'll grab it real quick. This is a uh, Sirach two in verse one. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure, and make not haste in the time of trouble. In this video, Lord, will hopefully be edifying. It's about. Making not haste and letting let not your mind run amok or run crazy when shit gets hard, man. But trusting in Yahweh by Shemiah Shai and maintaining your integrity before him, man. Because you can lose it and the Lord can jack you up for it, man. Because you say, hey, the Lord, hey, if, if Aaron lost it, the Lord was going to take him out for it. So, it, and, 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 and it happens, man. You, you think you you think you're tough. Lord put a situation on your mind, just go crazy, man. Look over that shit runs rampant. And you got to pray the Lord and, and, and let the situation play out. It's just it's just that's just what hey, a that's just the honest truth. Cleave unto Him and depart not away, that that He may increase ye at the last end. But the main point is verse two: Set thy heart aright and constantly endure, and make not haste in the time of trouble. Don't let your mind take over, man. Let the spirit take over. And and may Yahweh by Shemi Al Shai guide us, man. I'm saying this for myself, man. Because the Lord could do, the Lord could t take a family member away. And he can also t he can take a damn woman away. And that's the example I'm going to get with, a, with Ezekiel, where the Lord took away his woman. Um. Yep, this is right here. This is uh, Ezekiel 24 and verse 16. Son of man, behold, I take away from thee the desire of thy eyes with with a stroke. And what's the desire of a man's eyes? His woman, his wife. That's what the Lord took away. He, he killed his woman, took her away. She was back in the spirit world. Yet neither, yet neither shall thou mourn nor weep. Neither shall thou... Thy tears run down, forbear to cry, make no mourning for, for the dead, bind thy tears in thy head upon thee. So it means <laughs> basically hold it in. You gotta hold you gotta tough it out. And put on the and put on thy shoes upon thy feet, and cover thy lips, and cover not thy lips, and eat not the bread of, of men. So I spake unto the people in the morning. And at the evening, my wife died, and I did as did in the morning as as I was commanded. So he had it says it says bind thy tears in thy head upon thee. That means it means hold that shit in, man. That literally means that, man. Lord said, look, hold your tears back. Don't cry. I know you're gonna want to, but don't hold hold it in. Hold them in your head. That's that's so basic. The Lord told him to hold your tears. That's hey, that's some real shit, man. That's some real shit. 
Yeah, so, hey, and he what? He said, look, cover, hey, put your shoes on and go out and, and teach the word. Don't go, don't stop teaching because that can mess you up, man. Hey, it, 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 look, your woman leaving can fuck you up. Hey, the scripture, uh, uh, our forefather Sirach said it. He said, uh, he said, give me an, any plague, but the plague of the heart. And that goes to ha the woman, man, being heartbroken. Your, your woman leaving you, being your heart being broken to the point of no return, man. And that has happened to many men. The scriptures say that uh, that uh, many have run out of their wits for the woman. And, and hey, it, it, ha it happens, man. It It happens. Straight up, man. I, I was in a situation with a with a woman, man. That shit, that shit hurts, bro. But the Lord brings us out of it. That, that hey, that's real shit, man. But what the Lord told, look, bind up your your tears in your head, hold that shit in, man. Hold it in. Go out and preach the word because it can affect you. But look, the Lord said, look, you gotta still do this work. You still gotta go out and preach. You still gotta go out. You still gotta do this, man. I'm going to do this to you, but you still got to push on. Verse 19. I like going back and forth between the blue letter and uh, that KJV app. It's easier to find scriptures on that app. That's why I'm going back and forth. And the NIV is on this side. Sometimes they word it a little better or easier. Uh, verse 19, back in Ezekiel 24, 19. And the people said unto him, Wilt thou... Not tell us what these things are to to us that thou that thou doest so. Then answer, then answer. I then I answered them, the word of the Lord, the word of the Lord Yahweh by Shemuel Shai came unto me saying, Speak unto the house of Israel. Thus said the Lord Yahweh by Shemuel Shai Par. Behold, I will profane my sanctuary, the the excellency of your strength. The desire of your eyes, and that which your soul pitieth, and your sons and your daughters whom ye have left shall fall by the sword, and ye shall and and ye shall do as I have told told us like it, and ye shall do as I have done. Ye shall not cover your lips, nor eat the the eat. Uh, the bread of of men, and your tears shall be shall be upon your head, and your shoes upon your feet, and ye shall not weep nor ye shall not mourn nor weep, but ye shall pine away for your iniquities and mourn one to one toward another. So they see it set up for example. And look, you you about to catch utter hell, man, for the iniquities that you have done in the sight of the heavenly Father. Thus, thus Ezekiel is unto unto you a sign, according to all that he have done, shall ye do. And when this cometh, ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. So hey, the Lord, the Lord did that to set up to be for Ezekiel himself to be an example to the house of Israel. That look, y'all basically going y'all about to catch hell, and the things that y'all desire is about to be taken away from y'all because of y'all iniquities. But what is the main point for this lesson is the Lord did that and Ezekiel had to hold it up, man. He had to still go out and preach his word. He still had to go be to be in his ministry. And the whole point of this video is holding 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 fast even during the face of adversity, holding your integrity, even though when things are hard, that's what makes you a true man. When you can handle situations and not lose your shit. When times get rough. And that's why we're going to need the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, to get through the days and times that are coming to man. So he keeps our mind because he's the one that really keeps us. He keeps our mind steady and stable when, when, when the world is in complete chaos. This is Isaiah 33 and verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. And it's just something real quick, man. Just a quick lesson. We, a hey, the we when times get rough, man. When our family members die, when when we see death beyond what we have seen, 
when when famines and tribulations come, we have to still maintain our integrity and maintain our our footing in the heavenly Father Yahweh by Shem Shai to be protected by Him and trust that look we have, look this is the Lord He's doing this and, and all we can do is trust in Him. So this is just something real quick. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Shai by Shem with that shovel.